and it's my great pleasure to welcome you to the ninth Litvak Days. Where we really can witness uh, extremely valuable uh, legacy of uh, Jewish culture, which is important not only for Litvaks, not only for Lithuania, but around the globe. The survival of the Litvak identity encourages us all to be resilient, fluid and adaptive. And these, it is these qualities which truly unite us as a global community. Today we are symbolically starting our Litvak days with an opening concert dedicated both to one of the most distinguished Lithuanian Jewish contemporary music composers, Anatolius Shenderovas, who left sadly our world a year ago. This memorable year is time to reflect on and embrace the Jewish heritage, an inseparable part of Lithuania's identity. I hope that this day will be very fruitful. Uh, all together, you and we will do everything uh, to continue uh, the good memory of Gaon Mivilna and uh, to continue this big input of all the Lithuanian Jews into the Lithuanian history. Four brilliant musicians from Lithuania Rafael Skarpis, Darius Majentas, Daledi Dinskaite, and Gleb Pishniak will immerse us into the realm of Shenderova's musical world. Intensive developments in the field of memory culture of Jewish heritage and the Holocaust have already taken place in Lithuania, especially during the past decade. I don't think Lithuania can understand its own history without understanding the place of Jews within that history. And I've got to say, this is something that is really quite, um, really quite special for us. And we wouldn't have these kinds of events without them. And I think we've had a really good, honest, constructive engagement going on for a long time. And I can only hope that it continues. So the question we're posing this afternoon in our discussion is, has Lithuania reached a milestone in embracing its Jewish legacy? So when we talk about embracing this heritage, we need to remember that this is really a transnational effort. We cannot just celebrate Jewish heritage without reflecting on the destruction of the Lipa community. Have we done this? I would say yes and no. Do you think, um, broadly, when we talk about the, the Litvaks who remained and their families and so on, do you think enough is being done to appeal to the diaspora to participate in this work? Are the Litvaks invited back? Are they part of this discussion? We are definitely uh, intent to continue our work beyond this year. It is also very important that not to concentrate all our efforts in this year and to believe that the public interest will also be preserved, preserved after this year is finished. But my question, um, working, uh, representing the museum, uh, is how do we reach out to those who are not our visitors and not our students? The work is ongoing, it doesn't end, and it should involve people from outside Lithuania, but it also needs to involve, above all, people in Lithuania. and. It's not obviously an easy task, and the question is how to popularize what we are doing. At this level, we all agree, but it's obviously the case that there are many people who do not agree with a pluralistic and outward-looking view of the presentation of the Lithuanian past. And we don't want to rule these people out. We have to deal with people in Lithuania as they are. 
people who are both pluralistic and outward looking and people who adhere to a more populist and nationalist view of the past. And we need to establish a dialogue between these groups and we need to be involved in this dialogue. And they decided they will ask uh, artists uh, to the, a commission for making a monument against fascism. And so we made a proposition that was chosen. And the proposition was, because for me it was, I grew up in Israel, right? And also in, uh, in with the idea that monuments are always larger than us. And, uh, uh, and for me, it was more important that all monuments disappear because the the idea of making a monument that disappears i said then i can i can do something because uh, i always had a big problem with those much larger monuments than us in lithuanian the word skaidros was uh, was used Skaidros has more content than transparent because it includes also moral values honesty, uh, that you should be uh, uh, honest. Honesty, this is the main thing, that, that life should be, you should not be ashamed of it, that you can talk about it, that you can, that your life is, uh, is uh, honest and you have nothing specially to hide. Um, I, I was originally in, working in theatre um, and I, after some time, I wanted to find a more a different language to start to tell the stories that I felt were really important to tell. So Out of Darkness is, um, is, is an immersive um, experience and it tells the story of my parents' survival uh, during the Holocaust where they met in the ghetto, introduced by Arena, and survived in hiding. Um, they escaped out of the ghetto into hiding and, and survived living in a tiny wooden box for nine months and survived the war, the two of them, with my grandmother. And I just wanted to thank uh, Lithuania of naming this year the year of the Jewish uh, culture. I just wanted to say the final thank you, actually. It was really just such a just wonderful, fantastic discussion. Thank you everyone so much for participating.